In 1975's Waves of Lust, Diodato was handed essentially a softcore pornographic production or erotic thriller with marketing emphasis on erotic. Diodato had directed pictures in the 1960s but opted out for a stint helming television commercial shoots. Waves of Lust was his first or one of his first films back to feature productions. In advertising, one learns that the grace and impressionability of the image is everything. No sloppy or haphazard frames in Waves of Lust, we have someone who believes that they are an artist, an heir to Italy's grandiose tradition in the visual illustration of experience. In a post-New Wave manner, Diodato entraps everything as stylized and with confidence, secure that every one of his images is graceful and striking. In the most obvious, easy, possibly superficial ways, they are. To a 1970s film critic, it was a tasteless employee of the medium, indulgent, lacking finesse, or not doing simply enough. The effort, the pretensions, the enthusiasm and excitement of a film director, arrogant and proud, despite directing soft, smart, essentially is why I appreciate Diodato's Waves of Lust. Diodato is a very good director who made his stamp on films which would otherwise be, and in many respects still kind of, somewhat indefensibly, are very bad films, really. Thanks again, everyone. Excuse my appreciation of 1970s cinematic cliches. I like the medium being employed as much as possible, irrelevant of the funding or cost of the production behind the shots. Have the best possible day, night, wherever you are, you would or could ever have imagined.